Here in Santa Cruz, we're no strangers to foraging for mushrooms, hunting for the best chanterelles and porcinis that we can find. While that does sound pretty good, if I were out hunting for mushrooms, I'd much rather find one of these. These are just three of the many species of cordyceps fungi found throughout the world. Some of you might recognize this name or any of these images from that Planet Earth special about how the cordyceps fungi take over the minds and bodies of insects, turning them into zombies. While this might not be the first thing you'd want to find when you're out hunting for mushrooms, these prized fungi have played a key role in traditional medicines for centuries. These days, you can go to Amazon and buy yourself a pack of energizing cordyceps supplements. Now, I can't promise you that these mushrooms will boost your endurance as their package claims, but I can tell you that as a graduate student in chemistry and biochemistry, I study how compounds from these mushrooms can help us cure cancer. Now, thankfully, as an organic chemist, I know how to make these compounds in my lab, so I don't have to spend my day babysitting a horde of angry zombie ants. Ugh. <laughs> Once I've made these compounds, I use a technique called fluorescent microscopy to help us understand how these compounds affect cancer cells. Now, many tumors grow because their cancer cells are making too many proteins too quickly, and this leads to wildly out of control, deadly cell growth. From images like these, I've determined that my compound stops this protein synthesis from happening and dramatically slows down the growth of cancer cells. My compound does this by blocking up the conveyor belt that brings in the needed building blocks to the protein assembly machine. During my PhD, I've made a new version of this compound that's even better at slowing the growth of cancer cells. I'm continuing to study how this compound gets into cells with the goal of turning it into a better medicine and a safer way to shrink tumors. Now, my cancer-fighting compound comes from kind of a strange place. It grows on a fungus that lives on the larvae of a click beetle in Thailand. Now, all of this may sound like the fictional plot of that 1992 movie, Medicine Man, with Sean Connery, <laughs> but half of the drugs that were approved by the FDA between 1980 and 2014 came from nature, just like my compound. A, a breast cancer drug listed as essential by the World Health Organization comes from the bark of this yew tree. A painkiller 200 times stronger than morphine comes from the back of this poisonous dart frog. And a lot of us know that penicillin originally came from the mold that grows on your bread. Research like mine helps us uncover these hidden medicines and turn them into widely used FDA-approved drugs. I hope my research helps us to not only treat patients with cancer, but also helps to promote biodiversity and conservation, because you never know where you'll find the next cure to cancer. Thank you.